But post-match in PNG, some of the players could hardly master a word to explain the losses. In their match against Vanuatu, they conceded goals at the rate of one every two minutes. There was even a suggestion that some of them might need counselling to get over the trauma of it all. But Foster said there was no trauma and everyone was very positive back home when they got back. With one of the players now intending to join a soccer league in Guam, and two others were also looking at a similar part. Such is the enthusiasm from the Federated State of Micronesia's squad that Foster is already looking ahead to the next Pacific Games in Tonga in 2019 and beyond that to 2023. With a bold statement made to ABC News, Foster said by then he believes the team will have improved enough to be competitive, at least among the Pacific teams. Foster said he takes his inspiration from Guam, who last featured in the Pacific Games in 2011 and took some heavy beatings, although nothing on the scale of Micronesia's brutal experience in Port Moresby. Foster is now hoping football's world governing body, FIFA, will step in with an offer of assistance for the Micronesian team. Shane Saroya National, MTV Sports.